everybody, this is Matthew Filipovich from Heads Up and Go Left TV, and welcome to the Week in Cartoons, where we gather an entire week's worth of Heads Up cartoons into one nice, convenient location. So what do we have in store for you this week? Well, we have President Barack Obama's Justice Department fighting to keep a lawsuit from being heard about George W. Bush's warrantless wiretapping. We have Andrew Card being asked about the privilege of health care. We have Nancy Pelosi meeting with Brad Pitt. We have Senate Republicans embracing the judicial filibuster, but we're going to kick things off with a cartoon that was actually featured on CNN this week, Michael Steele's embarrassing apology to Rush Limbaugh. What are we waiting for everybody? Let's watch some cartoons. And up. Look, Rush Limbaugh isn't the de facto leader of the Republican Party. I'm the de facto leader of the Republican Party. Rush is an entertainer. Yes, he is incendiary. Yes, he's ugly. <laughs> Oh god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. I'm the leader, you're the leader, you're the man. Michelle Bachman's wrong. I'm not the man, you're the man. She should apologize to you too, but not as much as I can, because I am so, so sorry. Please forgive me, Rush. Please, 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 please. I will think about it. Oh my god, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're all great and powerful and mighty and merciful. All hail the mighty Limba! Senator McConnell, all 41 Republican senators have signed a letter threatening to filibuster President Obama's judicial nominees. Yet in 2005, Republicans demanded that all of Bush's nominees get a straight up or down vote. He decried obstructionist Democrats, threatening to use the, quote, nuclear option to get rid of the filibuster entirely. Yeah, wasn't that great? And it's not like the media cares that we've completely changed our story. And Harry Reid, I bet you he won't even make us pay a political price by actually making us filibuster. He is too good to us. You'd think that we're the ones still in charge, huh? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to report that Brad Pitt and I have just concluded a very productive meeting about rebuilding in New Orleans. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I would like to put an end to any and all rumors that Brad and I are having an affair. Wait, what? They are completely unfounded. What rumors? Brad and I definitely are not lovers. Who said we were lovers? And whatever lustful feelings that Brad may have for me, huh? he is definitely not leaving Angelina Jolie to be with me. What are you talking about? And to be perfectly clear, I am definitely not pregnant with Brad's child. No more questions. Andrew Card, after Republican Congressman Womp claimed that health care is not a right but a privilege, on Fox News you backed it up by saying that it's a want and not a need. Do you believe, sir, that if someone is sick, they should be able to see a doctor regardless of whether or not they can pay for it? Well, health care is a want, not a need. I mean, you may want medicine, but you don't need it. You may want to live, but you don't need to live. I mean, because once you're dead, you don't want or need anything. Am I right? President Obama, your Justice Department has been fighting to keep a court case from being heard on the legality of George W. Bush's warrantless wiretapping program. They are also claiming executive authority in refusing to turn over documents to the court. Why are you protecting Bush's lawbreaking and are you seriously embracing the Bush-Cheney view of unchecked executive power? Of course he is. Look, I established that the executive could get away with anything anything. And why would he want to give that up? I mean, it is good to be the king, as long as you're the king. Right, Brock? 